everybody. Welcome back to another wig review. My name is Janelle and you are watching Glamour Tress Official. So I have another Bobbi Boss unit. This is going to be a 13 by 4 deep lace unit, um, a part of their Boss Lace collection. Um, this is the style MLF242 Garnet in the color DL4-27. Um, so here's the stock card for you. And the back. Ugh, there we go. All right, so these units come with a Medifresh safe and clean cap. Um, that means that it's antibacterial with great ventilation and it blocks UV rays. So that's always good. Uh, it is a 13 by 4. So you've got space to part anywhere that you prefer. Left, right, middle. You can do up, up styles up styles you can do like half up half down styles braid styles things like that so this is a bold block colors uh, unit meaning that they have a whole bunch of these colors available that are basically just like this and just like you saw on the stock card where it's like huge chunky stark different colors throughout the unit um, as you can see, this one has the 427. You see the 4 over here and the 27. It doesn't look 27. It looks lighter than 27, like almost 613 kind of. But almost. I guess it, I guess it is 27. I'm confused. Excuse me. Don't mind me. <laughs> but you can see how wherever you part this unit, you're gonna get a different look and I like that. I don't normally like uh, chunky highlights and things like that but I think that the way this one is uh, designed is really cool and I think it's an interesting idea that I could have a different look just based on how I part my hair. So I chose to part it on this side because this is where the four is most prominent and since I have to put my um, my uh, pressed powder in the parting space to make it look like my scalp I know that when I put that pressed powder on lighter colors such as this 27 if I would have had to part on this side and it would have been the 27 then it would have looked kind of orangey and not that good so I was like let me find the darkest place where I can part the unit and put my uh, lace not my lace tint my uh, pressed powder so that's what I did and that's why I chose to do a left side part but you can do whatever you prefer um, and I guess you can change your look based on whichever color you get. They have like they do have a 1B613, they have a, a DL 1B green, they have a 430, uh, 4613, DL burgundy red, DL red 613. So you can get pretty creative with these styles and the colors that they offer but they also do come in your natural colors the one one b two and four and i appreciate that that's always appreciated but you don't buy this wig just to get it in a natural color like because there are so many long straight units that come in natural colors that it would kind of just be like pointless what you what you would get this unit for is specifically for these color combinations that they offer um i think this is really dope how they did this uh i didn't see how it looked in the back but i know when i had it pulled all to the front you could see how this entire side looked like the 27 versus this entire side looked like the um four so let me yeah you see how that works so yeah, I think that's really cool. I think it's really interesting and creative. I am getting a few snags, but I'm also manipulating the hair a whole lot. I keep flipping it around and doing different stuff with it. So I guess that's to be expected when you're manipulating the hair more than a normal person would. Um, no, yes, sorry, I am getting some shedding. Not a whole lot, but I have noticed uh, some of the strands of the 27 definitely shedding out of the unit and that's probably just due to it being the color 27 lighter colors tend to shed more and that's the way that that goes uh got two combs in the front one comb in the back and adjustable straps it does have a 13 by 4 but unlike their um 
their other units the illusion lace or the scalp illusion i can't remember exactly how they word it but it, it doesn't have that extra layer of lace that those scalp illusion units do so you don't have to worry about cutting it out if it doesn't match your skin tone uh, so that is a plus the cap feels pretty comfortable i don't have on a wig grip or anything and i don't have my hair braided down flat underneath so that's good bobby boss caps tend to run on the small side for me and um Without a wig grip, I think this fits down perfectly, um, but there's not much extra space in here. So if you do have a larger size head, you may need to be wary of that and be careful so that you don't give yourself a headache trying to wear this unit. I think this is really cute and really different. I like the color combination and I'm pretty happy with this unit overall. If you like it too, then you know what you gotta do. Just click on the description box and go to that link and purchase one for yourself. I wanna say thanks again for joining me for this wig review. My name is Janelle and you have been watching Glamour Tress Official. Peace.